Well, the best warrior competition is not like a sprint. Um, in order to win or to do well, you have to kind of finish near the top with everything. Like, so you don't need to be, you don't need to focus on one thing, say, oh, I need to do really good at just rucking. You have to also think about shooting, you have to think about other soldier skills. Like, it's really important just to kind of have a general broad knowledge of things so that um, when it comes down to it, you're, you're going to be able to do pretty well on most things. And if you're able to do that, that's what's going to keep your score high the entire time. And that's probably one of the biggest things is not trying to just focus in on a couple of things or just one day like okay I'm gonna push really hard today because if you don't if you do that and you just completely gas yourself the next day you're not gonna have anything left so it's really about pacing yourself and making sure you can finish The whole goal of, of the state program is to pick our best soldiers in the Washington Army National Guard that can then go to the regional competition and, and place well against all the other regional uh, the states in our region. And then, you know, if we're to win the regional competition, then that individual would then get to go to the Army competition. And in years past, we have had uh, National Guard soldiers that have outperformed our active duty soldiers at that competition. We're looking for like an all-around soldier that can go to the best to the regional competition and do well. So you have to be mentally and physically tough. And then know all your warrior tasks and battle drills too. Stuff, trying to keep your memory sharp when you're tired and your your body's exhausted and it's you know most of it's a mental game. Your body can do all this stuff, but getting your head to make your body do all that stuff is the biggest challenge. Yeah, I think the most rewarding part is just being able to, to be with the soldiers as they go through the events and kind of watch them, you know, accomplish a task that they didn't think they would be able to accomplish and then they ended up pulling it out in the end. Um, you know, the pool event, you know, it's not very often that you get to jump into a pool with a weapon and, and full gear. And it's, uh, if you've never done that before, it's kind of a frightening event, actually. Um, but to see them actually be able to accomplish that and, and learn from that was pretty good. and try and encourage soldiers to come out and, and do the best warrior competition. Um, it's a good way to come out and, and show camaraderie with your, with your peers and, uh, you know, and kind of test your skills to see how you fall uh, in amongst your peers and how you rate compared to them. You know, behind the scenes and during those events, it's as if we were all on the same team doing the same thing. Everybody walked out of here with friendships forged and, and a good strong bond and we had a great time together. It was a really fun weekend and everyone went out and they worked their hardest and did their best individually but it still felt like a team and that was really exciting. When people were finishing people were pushing each other to make sure we got the best time as we could and just pushed ourselves and show what we can do. That's really what these are about, to kind of test what your abilities are for your body. And you learn, learn a lot about what you're able to do in situations like this. Absolutely try it. It was a fantastic weekend. The, it's an invaluable experience, regardless of whether you win or not. Um, a lot of the soldiers that participated don't get to do a lot of these tasks day in and day out when they're at drill. And they got to do stuff here that they don't normally get to do and they had a fantastic time. So regardless of winning or not, it, the experience itself is worth having for sure.